people criticizing uh, Trump's cabinet left and right and center everywhere, all these criticisms. And this, um, let's say that this picture popped up. I would say that the Mortal Kombat selection screen after going full DEI. Yeah, that's not a game, but we could talk about how DEI and woke stuff has um, infiltrated video games as well. You might remember that video games, or maybe you might not be aware that video games is uh, is an industry which has more value than music, uh, music and movies and a couple other industries combined, all right? More than the movies and TV shows and music and I don't remember which other. I, I remember that there was this... Uh, this great, uh, this great chart, and video games is huge. And you know that video games is—they um, are trying to condition the new generations into DEI and woke. And the good thing is that the new generation, Gen Z, is rejecting all this openly. They are—I wouldn't say that they are boycotting these games because you know boycotting is when you. When you want to literally um, do something, like, like, like do an action against something. But no, Gen C is not actually boycotting these beauty games. They are just not buying them. They just don't care about all the woke and DEI stuff. They couldn't care less. And these industries, these companies are losing millions millions and they're losing hundreds of millions and i hope that they lose billions and they are run to the ground until they realize that no you you will not be able to hook people into that you will not be able to hook people into that but this well people are complaining and well the meltdown the meltdown when rfk rfk jr was announced was well out of this world as of the as of this show, the recording of this show, the post from real Donald Trump on X has more than 100 million views. Let that sink in. 100, 100 million views. That is insane. I am thrilled to announce Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as United States Secretary of Health and Human Services, for too long, Americans have been crushed by the industrial food complex and drug companies who have engaged in deception, misinformation, and disinformation when it comes to public health. The safety and health of all Americans is the most important role of any administration, and the HHS will play a big role in helping ensure that everybody will be protected from harmful chemicals, pollutants, pesticides, pharmaceutical products, and food additives that have contributed to the overwhelming health crisis in this country. Mr. Kennedy will restore this agency to the traditions of gold standard scientific research and beacons of transparency to end the chronic disease epidemic and to make America great and healthy again. This is important. This is an important distinction to make. Of course, memes did not, did not wait Gator Gar, I woke up in the middle of the night to grab a snack, and as I turned around holding a bag of Doritos, RFK Jr. was standing behind me in the dark looking like this. <laughs> yeah, this is a recurring meme. I also got a great, uh, I saw a great meme of, of this and in Venezuelan Spanish, and we also have a, a video. It was really funny. It's exactly that. Uh, lady grabs a Coca-Cola, and she sees a the picture of RFK and the fridge and say, okay, great. I go for the mint, for the bottle of water. Happy now? Yeah, this is what we should do. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to test it myself. I, I'm someone who deals a lot with emotional eating. I'm still dealing with that. Something that I, I love food. I shouldn't love that. I shouldn't love food that much, much but uh, something that I, I, maybe I just, Maybe it's not gonna be a tiny picture. Maybe I could, uh, you know, make this 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 huge print out of uh, RFK over over all my fridge, and that could help. And to understand the scope of this, Mike Benz brings us some hard numbers. I don't think folks outside government have an idea 
of how big a deal this is. HHS has the single largest budget of any department in the entire federal government. Even more money than the Pentagon. Two trillion a year. Two trillion a year now under RFK's top dog accountability. Wow, this is just baffling. Budget of the U.S. government for the fiscal year of 2025 by agency. And RFK is going to be in command of nearly two trillion. Two trillion. What the F? Uh, Department of the Treasury has a 1.5. Uh, Department of Social Security has 1.5. Department of Defense has uh, uh, 900. Department of Veteran Affairs, 300, and so on. This is something that it's mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. Some of you are making um, some of you are making uh, jokes about vaccines in, in the comments. This is something that people have to understand. It's not that RFK is against vaccines. He's pro having all the studies to make sure that vaccines are safe. He has said this like a thousand times. He is not against vaccines. He wants to put all those vaccines to the test to make sure that they are safe. And of course, if there are um, uh, secondary effects, then the people are well aware of them. Because that's how you make a choice. That's how you make a decision if you want your child to, uh, for these vaccines. It's especially, for example, it's, it's when I say uh, hepatitis B vaccine is great, okay, but I don't think that a, uh, a newborn needs a hepatitis B vaccine. I, I don't know. I, I would like to understand the rationale behind that. So like, 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 why? Why would would that be? So maybe maybe the vaccine is okay, but administering it just as you are born, like like minutes after you are born, that's that's not something that it it, it should be done. So we need the tests. We need to uh, make sure that all this works as expected, and only maybe if we don't talk about vaccines, but the food. What's in the United States food, in America's food, that's a big thing. And you remember this clip from uh, Joe Rogan. Never forget that President Trump told Joe Rogan Big Pharma has been pressuring him to not work with RFK Jr. Trump picking RFK Jr. as the head of HHS today shows that Trump is standing up to Big Pharma. And this where this where Do he you have anyone that is pressuring you to not work with him. Have have there been people that work with who? RFK Jr. Has yes. There, yes, I would imagine because financially I say, he could put a dent. I, I would say that. And I, I noticed that when he was answering this question, he was looking away. It's like and he was maybe not afraid to say this, but he was. He knew he was going to reveal something that uh, was going to have ripples, uh, huge ripples, because you know how huge is big pharma and big food. O only one of those, only one of those are would be scrambling to do something, to do anything, so that RFK Jr. was not the head of the HHS, which back then, at this moment of this uh, Joe Rogan podcast, they would have been pressuring Trump Front and center, but he... You know, the, I think in many ways they've done a good job. In many ways they've done a bad job. But I would say that the uh, big pharma wasn't thrilled when they heard that, you know, I have a relationship. I've actually always gotten along very well with him. I've known him a lot. Yeah, the, he he, uh, he has uh, he has his reservation saying this. He acknowledges we, we need to address this on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm telling you, this is something that... It's a good heuristic to live by. It's like Big Pharma is in, let's say, if we do the equation, is um, they are evil in many ways. They're a huge conflict of interest from the way that they have these ads on TV to push for, for drugs. And, you know, the huge stake they had during the, the pandemic, all the billions that they made. There's a, there's, a huge, there's a huge conflict of interest pushing this 
for, well, as much profit as possible. But it's undeniable that we, we need to understand that uh, and acknowledge that many things, I always, you, you know that I'm going to mention antibiotics, right? <laughs> you know, the, you know the way, when, we, when I talk about civilization, you know, what, what is one of the greatest signs of civilization? Antibiotics is, is the first thing b besides, of course, coffee. Coffee, antibiotics, I would say that uh, fire, discovering fire, the wheel, antibiotics, coffee, and maybe, maybe, maybe the internet, maybe the internet. But antibiotics, big thing. And they're still trying to find, I don't know if they have uh, already found the, the sixth type of antibiotic. You know that there are five of them and they were trying to find a six, uh, six uh, uh, one. The problem is that they're scrambling to find a sixth one because, uh, well, the bacteria are growing um, stronger and immune to the first five <laughs> kind of antibiotics. So... Oh my God! I I I better not talk about it because that is a bit that is a bit depressing. We're talking about the super super bacteria, super bacteria, and well, you know the reactions to RFK Jr. being named the head of the HHS did not wait either. Elizabeth Warren, we we're gonna have many takes from uh, shady Pocahontas in this show. It seems so. We, we, she's gonna be a regular appearance on the Jesus Enrique Rosa show, because it's so fun to quote her. RFK Jr. poses a danger to public health, scientific research, uh, research, uh, medicine, and healthcare coverage for millions. He wants to stop parents from protecting their babies from miss missiles, and his ideas would become the return of polio. I have a lot of questions for his Senate hearing. Yeah. And those Senate hearings, I, 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 should, I should do... do Huge live streams for those. Huge live streams for those. Because why not? We are here to do the things. And, well, I, I would quote. I, I, I'm going to quote first. I'm not going gonna, gonna to jump ahead of myself. I'm going to quote one video of, uh, with uh, Tucker Carlson of, of uh, RFK Jr. So you can understand why he's doing this. There's so many things that we can quote RFK Jr., but I think this video was very good. And then we're going to watch the CNN. In 1960, do we know? In 1960, the autism rate, it was somewhere between 1 in 1,500 and 1 in 10,000. Today, it's 1 in every 34 kids, according to the CDC. These kids should be healthy. These kids should be our, our highest performing kids. And they instead are have this extraordinary disability that's going to keep them dependent. If you're full-blown autism, nonverbal, non-toilet trained, head -bent, Banging, stimming, toe walking. These are kids that will never throw baseball, will never graduate high school, they'll never go out and take a girl on a date. Ugh. They'll never use the toilet alone. They'll never write a play. They'll never write a poem. They'll never vote. Never have children. Never pay taxes. So it, that just seems like such a, an emergency. And for me, yeah, for me, like if I could save one of these kids, it would be worth giving my life for it. I'm 70 years old. To save one kid at birth, it would be worth dying for. To, yeah, this is this is what he's standing for, and I I agree with him, especially when we're talking about children. And children are being attacked literally from every single front. They're being attacked with uh, untested chemicals, not only in drugs but also in food. They have been poisoned. They're, they they are literally being poisoned to the to the um, extent that so many things like depression, anxiety, ADHD, ADD, it's, it's, it's been literally created by the poison they are taking in because it's profitable for both the, well, it, 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 is, it is a huge grift that starts with the uh, big food in which uh, big food poisons people, especially children who are the most vulnerable to this, and then you have big pharma for the solution. Well, they they will push these um, these drugs to fix a problem that uh, big food keeps producing. So you keep people in this constant state of sickness, and that's why you see um, teenagers with diabetes, uh, type two diabetes, with high blood pressure, with uh, all this stuff that used to appear only when you were like seventy or eighty years old. And it is really concerning. And so many people trying to downplay the fact that seed oils are a big 
problem with this. And what is most concerning to me is the amount of, is the misconception about fats in which it, all this, um, all this research that was paid for in the 1950s to make seem like animal fat was bad for you, that is much better if you eat vegetable oils or seed oils, and it's all the opposite, that the heart is damaged because of eating and, and eating food that has been cooked in seed oils, in vegetable oils. The truth is coming out, but still... There is a huge, huge chunk of the population. Uh, I would say that the majority of the population still believes the opposite. And that is a big problem. It's just something that many of us have addressed on X. X is um, this, this, uh, this amazing discussion between perhaps the, the most brilliant minds in the world. Um, and you can have all these opinions and measure their opinions and understand, of course, the logic behind that, and notice that it is undeniable, the numbers are undeniable, how the stats have changed once this seed oils, how McDonald's began frying the, the, the fries in, uh, in seed oils, and the impact in people's health, well, it has been a, a huge, it has been a greatest hoax in, in human history, how to keep people uh, more or less sick as long as we make all this profit.